Welcome to another episode of Camera Chair Productions Presents Herping. I've left Maryland behind, and I've left Florida behind, and we've met somewhere in between in the Outer Banks. We're exploring some coastal maritime forest and really hope to find some really cool reptiles and amphibians on our trip. All right, well, let's go let's check it out. Started. So we're just here walking through a swamp in North Carolina, and right over here on this log, we have a young eastern cottonmouth. It's the first one I've ever seen, so I'm pretty excited. I'm used to being in Florida, seeing the Florida cottonmouths, and they're just all over the place down there. So I'm not surprised we were able to find one as easily as we were. It's right near this big piece of debris, so we think there might be some adults under there. Right next to it, we found bits of snake shed. They're just kind of littering the ground around it, so... It's kind of got trees going through it. We not, might not be able to get it up, but if we can, hopefully we'll find something under it. You guys found a cottonmouth? Well, I just found this guy. Ugh, check this beast out of an eastern king. That is a big king. Beautiful animal, too. Absolutely stunning. Now, we were just walking along out here in the woods and I came up on this green snake. He was concealing himself in the tree, trying to act like a tree branch, just swaying in the wind, trying to catch some bugs. And he started to take off when I walked up on him, so I grabbed a hold of him real quick. And they're a real cool, real pretty snake. We're just going to go ahead and let him go. I went to go pick up this little shell that was laying on the ground. I picked it up and the snake was laying right there next to me. It's cool hog nose. All right, we just found a juvenile eastern hog nose. We're gonna let him crawl. I don't like stressing these things out and having them play dead, but they really are a really neat little snake. He's gonna dive right in these pines here to escape us, and it looks like he's uh, seeking pretty good cover here, but these guys are really cool. One of their favorite prey items is toads. Um, we've seen these before, and I know we uh, had film of one recently in Florida. But this one, you can see it's uh, not the black phase. They come in many different colors, and this one is kind of a black and uh, like a tan phase to blend in with the, the pine. All right, while hiking along, whenever we come along an open, sunny area like this here, we we'll always like to stop and give it a good hard look. Sometimes we'll find a species of whiptail lizard called a six lane race runner using areas like these. They don't like them just because they're open and hot and sunny, but also because they can bury in the sand and stay warm that way, so they don't always have to be out in the open. Hey, this is the way it's called a black squirrel. Black the eye. black bar between the two eyes, uh -huh. and then the tympanum solid brown. I've never seen a squirrel tree like that. They don't always have the color. Never seen one that dark and Yeah, the uh, a uh, pine woods would have yellow spots under the legs. So we were just walking around the woods here and found a squirrel tree frog inside of a moist log. The easiest way to tell when you have a squirrel tree frog as opposed to the green tree frog, which is also common in this area, is even though sometimes the squirrels can be green, this one was hiding, so he's brown. But they'll have a black bar sometimes between the top of the eyes, stripe right there, and the tympanum or eardrum is going to be solid brown on a green tree frog. There'll usually be some green or all green in the eardrum. Well, we just found another eastern cottonmouth. These are really excellent snakes. Um, there's so many myths surrounding them, though. A lot of people don't understand them at all. They think they're evil. They're out to get you. They'll chase you down. And these things just aren't true. Um, I mean, if that were true, you wouldn't even be able to go out in the woods because there's actually a lot of these animals out here. But as you can see, all he really wants to do is get away from me. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll just let him go. And he'll be on his way.
Well, this concludes our 2012 herping season. We hope you've enjoyed our trip to the Outer Banks. It's been great having you up from Florida, Chris. It's been a great time. We found a lot of animals. Yep. As usual. <laughs> so be sure to stop by camachairproductions.com and like us on Facebook to catch all our future video updates.